Man United have already secured the signings of Aaron wan from Crystal Palace and Dan James from Swansea City so far in the beginning of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's rebuild of the club this summer. Now, with Man United flying out on their pre-season tour next Monday, so seven days from now, Solskjaer is still intent on making more signings before we head out to Australia. And two names who really could be happening are Bruno Fernandes from Sporting Lisbon and Sean Longstaff from Newcastle United. Could United complete the signing of either of those players or both of them before Monday? Let's run through the whole story on this situation and take a look at whether it really could happen. Now, before we do begin, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe if you're new and hit that notifications bell. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. But let's discuss this one. First up is Bruno Fernandes. Now, what's the latest on Fernandes to Man United? At this point, there's really too much smoke around Fernandes to United for the links not to be real in the last 48 hours. James Ducker from The Telegraph, James Robson from The Evening Standard and Rob Dawson from ESPN all saying United are stepping up their interest in Fernandes massively and that Solskjaer intends to make him one of his major signings this summer. So at this point, you'd be very surprised if there really was no interest from United in Fernandes. You know, how much could he cost though? There's been figures as low as 40, 45 million and figures as high as 80 million being banded around for Fernandes to whatever club he was to join this summer. What the actual figure would be, I don't know, but he'd certainly be Man United's most expensive signing this summer if we were to complete a deal for him. Now, early this summer, the likes of Man City, Spurs, Liverpool were all heavily linked with Fernandes. And the advantage for United at this point is that all of them seem to have dropped out of the race to sign him. Now, you could look at that from a different direction and say, is there a reason why those other clubs have stopped going after Fernandes that United don't know about? And maybe that's a reason why United have taken a longer time with Bruno Fernandes in our pursuit of him. It's certainly something worth considering. But when you look at how good he was last season, you really can't deny that he looks like he'd be a fantastic signing for anybody that gets him. In 53 appearances for Sporting Lisbon last year, he got 32 goals and 18 assists. And he's not even a striker. That's from attacking midfield. Those numbers truly are sensational. An absolute worldie of a season from Bruno Fernandes. The highest scoring season for any midfielder in the history of the Portuguese league. And at 24, he's young. He's in that Portuguese team with Ronaldo. And he's a key part of it. But I would see Bruno Fernandes as a massive upgrade on Juan Mata in pretty much every single respect. Juan Mata is a sort of player who can create and craft chances because he's a technically gifted footballer. But Mata's too slow now for the Premier League and for the style of play that United are playing. So in that sense, Bruno Fernandes would have everything, would offer everything that Juan Mata does, but so much more. He's got the energy, he's got the movement, he's dynamic. And he can play off both feet as well. And that's a big bonus. And when you look at what Solskjaer has done so far in this transfer window, we've signed... Dan James, 21 years old, a youthful prospect, but somebody who can develop at United. Aaron wan 21 years old, Premier League proven. A, bit, a little bit more experience, one season of experience, but ready to come in and improve our first team. Someone like Bruno Fernandes at 24 wouldn't be the experience like Cantona or Keane that these younger players need around them, but he'd certainly be expected to make an impact on the first team straight away. And that's what I think what Solskjaer is doing this summer. It's what I feel the strategy is. Bring in young players who've got prospects that can develop at United, but at the same time, blend that with a little bit more experience. And that's where Fernandes would come in. Yes, he's only three years older, but he's somebody who did it on the biggest stage last year. He was really, maybe not the biggest stage, but at that point in his career, it was the biggest stage. And of course, it will be a risky signing. Signing anybody outside of the Premier League is a risk. But some of United's greatest signings, as I've said previously, look no further than Ronaldo, who we got from Sporting Lisbon, Ronaldo was one that would, it paid off in dividends. And United need a player next year that can come into this team and mean that we don't have to rely on Paul Pogba to have a good game for us to actually create anything. And that is a thing that Fernandes would absolutely do. We'd have a different outlook. And it could make Paul Pogba better next season if he's still at the club. But it gives Man United more of a variety in our attacking sense. And that, for me, is why he would be a smart signing. And yes, other clubs dropping interest in him is, I'm not saying it's a concern, it's, it's a bit strange given how good he was last year, but he can't sign everybody. And Spurs certainly can't. They didn't sign anybody last year. 
So maybe they're just focusing elsewhere. Maybe there's not a negative reason why they're not going after him. But I, for one, would be absolutely buzzing if we did sign Bruno Fernandes this summer. But how likely is it that United can do it in the next week? Now, Sporting Lisbon's manager, Marcel Kaiser, has been talking about him. I want Bruno Fernandes to stay, but everyone knows the current situation. It's going to be difficult to keep him going. He's on vacation. We'll see what happens. I think Sporting, it sounds like they're preparing for Bruno Fernandes to leave. They don't want him to leave, but they understand that it's a likely possibility after how good he was last season. Now, I didn't think that we would complete the signing of Fernandes. When I rated it early this summer, I gave it a 3 out of 10 chance. But that was at a point where City were heavily linked. I thought I saw him maybe as a replacement for David Silva. Maybe City see that more as Phil Foden. I thought Spurs were going for him. Looks like they've gone for Ndombele as their main focus so far this summer. And Liverpool seem to be looking elsewhere. But I wouldn't trust what I say. 3 out of 10, I'll be happy to be wrong. Because I think Bruno Fernandes, for whoever gets him, if it's a United or somebody else, looks like they've got a real gem on their hands. A proper playmaker who can make a difference. And they're key for what United need going forward in looking better in attack. Now, before we move on to talk about the second player that United are looking at signing this week, I want to give a quick shout out to One Football, who have been supporting United People's TV all summer and are continuing to do so. So make sure you go and support One Football by downloading the app. There's a link in the description. You can go and download it there for free. It really is a great app. You know, keeping up with the likes of Bruno Fernandes or Sean Longstaff, which we'll talk about in a bit, and any other transfer room you can personalise your own feed on there. And it's a fantastic app. And the best thing is, it's free. And when the new season kicks off and you want to see the likes of Wan Bissaka and Dan James's stats, you can get that all on the One Football app as well. It really is a one-stop shop for all your United needs. So there's a link in the description. Make sure you go down there. Support them by downloading it. Support United Two People's TV by supporting them. But let's talk about the second player that United could be going after this week, and that's Sean Longstaff. So what is the latest on Sean Longstaff to United? Just like the Bruno Fernandes rumours, they're getting stronger. BBC are reporting the interest with Simon Stone, as well as major other outlets in the UK. It might come as a surprise to us all, but Solskjaer has identified Longstaff as a target. Now, how much would he cost? Longstaff, the figures are in the region of 15 to 25 million. And in the grand scheme of things, that would be a relatively cheap signing. More like Dan James than Wan Bissaka or how much Bruno Fernandes would cost. And in that sense, it would be a bit of a low risk signing. But on the other hand, it would be a majorly risky signing for United because Sean Longstaff broke into Newcastle's first team last year, had a sensational few months but got a bad knee injury in March and since then hasn't played football. That was his first major injury of his career, but clearly Longstaff showed enough good form in those three months to earn enough reviews and praise from Solskjaer and his team behind the scenes that have identified him as a potential excellent midfield signing. Now, if we did sign him, he'd be more on the level of Scott McTominay than Michael Carrick, but Carrick is the player that he's compared to not because he's that good at this time, but because of his start of play. You consider him more of a midfield technician, somebody who's happy sitting deeper, somebody who's more interested in just keeping the ball moving than anything else. Good on both feet, has a good shot on him as well. Sean Longstaff seems like a Carrick type signing. Not to say that he's going to be as good as him, but he's that style of football. And certainly we need more of those in our team because Matic is too slow for me now. McTominay is good as still a squad player at this time. Happily to keep him there. I think he can still improve, but still a squad player. And maybe Longstaff can come in there. He wouldn't make a massive immediate first team impact the likes of Wan Bissaka. But maybe he could surprise us all and show the same sort of form he showed in those three months and continue on that upward trajectory. But Solskjaer's going for that this summer. Young players, young English players, a lot of the time, with prospect and the ability to develop. He wants to build this new core at United. And for that, I'm excited that just the idea that there feels like a strategy is in place that Solskjaer is being allowed to execute. Whether you agree with the right signings or not, feels like there's a plan there. And Longstaff might be a surprising part of it. But how likely is that to happen? I would say very likely if United really truly want to go after him. With Rafa Benitez now out of the club after the whole Mike Ashley thing, continues and continues it's not really the best place for a young player to be because it's so unstable not that United is any better in that sense right now with everything that's going on behind the scenes 
But Solskjaer's doing a rebuild. He's got the money. And it's an exciting looking season already next year. Because I think wan Sack is such a good signing for United. The sort of smart, exactly correct signing that we haven't really, I don't think, done too often in the last few years. We've ended up putting square pegs in round holes. But wan Saka, Dan James, not sure. Could be great. But the wan Saka one's the one that really excites me. And I hope we pair that with someone like Bruno Fernandes and maybe Sean Longstaff as well to complement it. But I can see the plan. I can see the strategy. And Longstaff, who knows? Maybe he could turn out to be another Michael Carrick. But it seems like United really want to go after him. And if we do want him and we pay the right amount of money, Longstaff will certainly join this summer. If that happens by next Monday, though, I don't know. But United have made two signings already this summer. Dan James, 21. Aaron wan 21. Could Bruno Fernandes, who's 24, and Sean Longstaff, 21, be the next two pieces of that puzzle that Solskjaer is trying to complete before next season kicks off? I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But for me, Bruno Fernandes would be a sensational signing. The sort of playmaker who can make a difference immediately. And as much as we want to build this team with prospects and developing players who can improve, we need a bit of quality to improve our first team immediately. wan does that. Bruno Fernandes could do the exact same. And the likes of Longstaff and James could be allowed to develop under Solskjaer at United. That could be very exciting. But let me know what you think about whether we'll complete either of them and whether you want United to complete either of them. Now, before we finish, if you are new and you're still here, I like that. Good commitment. Make sure you subscribe now. There'll be more videos going out this week all throughout the season as well. If you're a regular, take it easy.